Yo, what's going on guys? Nick here. Uh, this is episode 4 of Trading to a Million Coins. Uh, I want to look at the Jamal Adams set some today uh, because we have enough coins now and the market's low enough now where I, th I think we can do it for cheap. Um, and then as long as he's going for like at least 120k, uh, I, th I think we can do it for around 108k. 105k um, so if we can sell them for 130 he just sold for 130 if we can sell them for 130k um, then we're gonna be making about 12 15k uh, per per Jamal Adams that we're making I think we can make him pretty quick too because um, Marcus Mace price went way down so I th think let me see I think he's down like 9,500. I think he's under 10,000 now, which is insane um, because he was like 80K the other day. But um, since he's in the re-rolls, he went way down. So let me just go specifically to him. Okay, so I'm going to buy. I'm going to go ahead and buy one. So it's 9,500 on Marcus May. And we're just going to throw him into the Jamal Adams set like that and then we're gonna go to we're gonna get we need three more of these these mutt heroes so let's just go let's go by all offense and, and all defense okay we don't we don't want to pay more than nine nine K for each of these so we missed that one but um, there you go 8600 take Okay, apparently we won't take it. So I'm going to sit here and snipe one of these real quick. I, it's crazy to me that Marcus May is the cheapest one now. I mean, almost almost the cheapest one, second cheapest one. Because um, you still need him for the Jabal Adams, and you still need him for the the Jets theme diamonds too. Um, so even though he's in the theme diamonds packs, it's just crazy that he's so cheap. Let's kind of go back and forth here. Um, I know eventually I'll be able to get one. Not not too worried about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna buy all the players I need for this, and then uh, I'll I'll uh, catch back up after I, I buy the all the players I need for it. I'll I'll buy them all, and then I'll show you I'll show you what all I bought and how much I spent on all these all these cards. So. Um, We'll, we'll do that. Then you don't have to watch the whole, the whole thing. All right, guys. So uh, we completed Jamal Adams set. Uh, super cheap right now to complete. It cost me uh, fifty three thousand coins for the sixteen eighty to eighty ones. It cost me uh, twenty six thousand, uh, rough. I think it was twenty six thousand five hundred fifty for the uh, eighty other eighty fives, and then ninety five hundred for Marcus May. Uh, so thirty five thousand altogether for those. So the total cost of the set was eighty nine thousand two hundred, um, which is insane. Uh, I can, and then I also made a stupid mistake, and I put my that I bought a Giants player, an eighty five Giants player, and I accidentally put him into the theme diamonds two spot, and um, he doesn't actually go in there. So, or I don't actually have access to those. So. I don't know. Don't really know what to do about that. So um, I'll have to. I can't get it out because it won't let me access them. So I'm going to. I think that gives us a gingerbread man, right? So that's one gingerbread man too for free that we've gotten. Oh, don't quick sell. Um, so I'm gonna add it to. I'm just gonna add it to the Ted Hendricks, and then we'll slowly build up until we can. Uh, make make one of those uh, make a team of the year with with those players. So um, yeah, as you can see, so we started with 152k, so we spent 99k total. I spent 89,000 on the on Jamal Adams, and then plus the extra that I spent um, on the cost of that that 85 that disappeared on me. So uh, here's. You can see 21 auctions because it took me 20 to do Jamal Adams, and then so here's the prices we were paying. We're paying under 3,500 
for the most part for the 80 to 80 ones. Um, I did have to pay 4200 for Jordan Jenkins because ha he's required, but here's the 85s, and then Nate Solder's the one that I – he disappeared, man. He's gone. So because um, here, unless – I don't know if you have to be a certain level to do the theme diamonds or – I, I need to look into that the theme builders, but see I can click on it, it says three categories. It lets me let me add them to them, um, but I, there's nothing I can do. So uh, that's that's what we did Jamal Adams for. Now I'll show you what we're gonna list up Jamal Adams for, and then while Jamal Adams is uh, listed, I'll just go straight from my binder actually. While Jamal Adams is listed, I'm going to. Um, just kind of work the market, look around, uh, try to find some snipes if I can, um, because I'd like to like to get a couple snipes here. You know, I'll show I'll show you just like we always do. I'll show you what all I buy, um, and then how much we're selling it for, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna list him up for I'm gonna do one one twenty eight six hundred, I think. I mean, so after tax, it would be let's see, we'll get about one hundred sixteen thousand. Uh, from this uh, 115,000 something so and we spent the 89,000 on it so 26,000 profit pretty easy um, plus we got the 85 and 80 the 85 uh, 86 to put into the 87 to 80, 88 exchange set I can't talk for some reason sorry and then we got the 80 to 81 to put into the gingerbread set so we got one full gingerbread man um, I think we're one away from getting an 87 to 88 exchange set done and then I think I think I might just keep rolling Jamal Adams because we're just we'll just keep building them up and and try to get enough gingerbread men to get us a let's see we need 12 gingerbread men total um, so that'll be man that'd be 24 of those sets but we've done two already so uh, maybe we can get ourselves to decrease the cost of the team of the year set by doing it this way so um, I'm gonna go work the market while that sells and and I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's the next day. Uh, I got off the account and went over to my main account and um, was uh, streaming and finishing my theme Diamond Night Train Lane. Um, but we had to sell him for a little bit less than what he was going for yesterday. We sold him at 118, 118,600, I believe. Um, I can show you real quick. And then I, before I got off yesterday, too, I went and bought more pieces for another Jamal set. So these are what all I bought. Um, I can show you. So 3200 3000 I was, I was buying them really cheap yesterday, so I, I just kind of went for it. Uh, Jordan Jenkins, he was only 4K um, on the follow-up one. So there's there's all the prices I paid. That's all together. But um, I think I bought, let me see. I think I've, I've bought most of another Jamal. I think I've bought... Let's see, I got the I got the Marcus May and I got the Pierre de Seer, the JC Tedder. I think I might need one more one more of these. Let me see. I got him for 80, 89. Marcus May for eighty nine. Seer for seventy seven hundred. Okay. So I, th I think I still need one more 85 and then um, like four or five more of the of the 80 ones. Sorry, I'm trying to think and do this at the same time and that's obviously not going well for me. I can show you how much I've left. Yeah, so I need one more of the 85s and then I just need eight more of these. So hopefully we can get these for around 3K, so it'll be 24K, and then hopefully we can get this around 9K. And so just be another 33K for us. Um, we're hoping that's all we have to spend, and then that'll get us enough to do an 87 to 88 exchange set, and we'll sell the person we get from that as well. And um, we'll be halfway to another gingerbread man. And then after that, I think I'm going to uh, just go ahead and buy the cheap 80 to 80 ones and complete another gingerbread man. And uh, and and go through and do the. I need thirteen gingerbread men, and I can do a. I'd have my. I think I'm get close enough now where I have enough coins to to complete a team of the year set. So, um, we'll 
we'll go through and I'll, I'll build this other Jamal Adams and I'll show you what he sells for. And then I'll, I'll go into if I have enough to, to start doing, going towards the team of the year set. All right. So we just completed uh, Jamal Adams again. We completed him this time for 85,249 coins. Um, so we are going to make about 21 K if we sell him for the 118 K again. Um, so, I mean, we're making, making good profit on it for sure. Uh, this should get us an 87 to 88 as well. So we'll see who we get at this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get a decent pull. Joe Staley. I'm not not sure how much he's going for, but um, that'll be our 87 for our Team of the Year pack. And then um, I'm going to sell Jamal Adams. And we're going we're going to put him in. Let me see. Item binder. Hopefully, hopefully he's still going up there for a decent price. Yeah. Okay. 123. So we're I'm gonna list him up for 122.6 and hopefully get a pretty quick sell on him. Um. I mean, really, I should just keep keep rolling the Jamal Adams method, but. I think I, I don't want to just do that the same thing for the for the video um, if if I was if I was really doing this on my own I would I would do about 10 more Jamal Adams methods and uh, just keep collecting those exchange sets the free 80s because I'm making 20k per uh, exchange and then I'm also getting the free 80s for the gingerbread men for my team of the year pack and then um, getting the free 87 to 88 upgrade set while also profiting the 20k so that's what I would be doing but I'd, I want to have a little bit of you know a little bit of different stuff on the video so I'm going to do Jamal Adams set this is going to be the last Jamal Adams set and then I'm going to um, I'll show you guys a team of the year pack and I want to show you to I'll go ahead and show you what I bought the rest of those cards for and then um, just so you guys can see so I bought let's go to newest so 3200 3000 3, 3100 8600 3100 so yeah all all added up it was um, it was whatever price I said let me look real quick again yeah it was 85,249 altogether that's what we spent so um, made decent profit and then if it sells for the 120 we did 122,600. That's going to be uh, 25,091 coins in profit af after tax. Um, so pretty good profit there. And then also, you know, if we're we're getting those free cards towards the the team of the year sets. I think if this sells, um, let's see, after tax we get about 110k. So we have. 185k we should be able to we should easily be able to do a team of the year set um and profit off of the team of the year set so um i guess we'll uh i'll go ahead and probably just start buying buying some of the 80s 80 to 80 ones to put into the gingerbread men and then uh and i'll i'll update you when when i'm done with with doing some of that so okay guys uh jamal adams sold um he just sold while i was doing I was buying the 88s to to finish uh, building up those gingerbread men. Um, the total amount that we spent to make the, all the gingerbread men we needed was uh, 66,500 coins. Um, and that gave us a 91, a 92, and a 93. Um, so that's, that's pretty insane. Um, we were getting the gingerbread men. I'll just show you show you what we were getting them at. Um, we were getting them under six thousand a piece, and we needed uh, thirteen of them total. Remember, we already had one from the. Um, we already had one and a half of them from, the Jamal Adams set. So we we needed to buy uh, twenty. Three players. All right, yeah, twenty three players is what we needed to buy. Um, and that's that's what we bought them at 29, 29, 27, 29, 21. My first one was uh, actually an 1100, so 
I know where I cut off at because it wasn't 1100 here here it was here um, so we got and then for some reason this guy came ahead of that's kind of weird that some of these are mixed in but here's here's the prices we paid on all of them interesting um, but yeah this is the first when I started by newest I would think that this would be the this is the earliest one I bought but then I also have these guys which I've I just bought as well but um, that's that's what we paid for them if you guys want to add it add up the math yourself um, I have it added up on my spreadsheet it was uh, 66,500 for all 13 of those gingerbread men uh, including the one and a half we had already crafted from doing the Jamal Adams set uh, and then I relisted my I relisted my Jamal Adams for a little bit less because I wanted him to sell because I wanted to go ahead and be able to afford the 89 since I had already um, gotten all the gingerbread men from the leftover coins we had uh, so we actually made 19,691 coins after tax on Jamal Adams um, but then again we also got the, the free 87 and the one and a half free gingerbread men from the two Jamal Adams sets we've done and then the one DeForest Buckner set we, we did um, so now we just need to buy an 89 uh, so to buy an 89, I think I'm going to look at Ultimate Legends, look at the 97 Ultimate Legends. Um, just because they, they were the cheapest. I'm hoping to get, yeah, mid-20s is about what I'm hoping to get. Sat might be a little more because he's a little bit higher price, but not not too much of a difference it's looking like. So let me, let me check the other prices here too um, of some of the... The Super Bowl present is what I want. Yeah, I knew I wanted that. So um, let me just check the prices of some of these real quick, just to make sure that those are the cheapest. Yeah, and let me check playoffs as well. Uh, actually, some of the heavyweights might be. Let me check some of these prices. Let's see. Not not getting quite down to the newest. I know there's um I know there's DJ Reader. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do twenty twenty five K on that. So that's gonna be our our eighty nine is twenty five thousand seven hundred fifty. Um so what we've actually spent on this set um with having the getting the free players from the Jamal Adams and then just spending coins. Um, we've actually spent almost no coins to, to do this. Um, let's see, less than 100K, right? 90, 92,250 uh, coins to do this Team of the Year set. So I saved, I accidentally opened Amari Cooper already, but I saved these two, um, but here's Here's me opening these two, just so you guys can can watch that if you want to. Um, I'm honestly kind of like I'm kind of hoping we don't get Donald. Actually, I'm gonna do the defense set. I'm actually kind of hoping we don't get Donald, just because I don't want to, you know, boost it, boost the series because of pack luck. Um, I want it to be all just normal stuff you could do from starting a brand new account, but. So if we get if we get Donald, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll sell him for for the price of the eighty eight or of the ninety sixes. Not sure yet what we'll do on that. So uh, we'll put Hendricks in. We have Amari Cooper. So we also have Amari Cooper's power up and Ted Hendricks power up, which probably sell for about seven hundred to a thousand coins each. So I'll I'll go through and and sell those as well. Um, so that's that's going to be it right there. So got a team of the year defense player. Let's open it up, see what we get. Of course we get Donald. Okay. Well, I might just give somebody a steal of a deal on the Donald. Um, that's kind of funny. <laughs> so let me let me go look at, at Donald's, Donald's price compared to the others. Of course, man. Team of the year and qualities do 96 97. 
and so let's let's find like a I don't know, let's kind of find like a middle range that we would we could sell him at. Uh, he goes for three thirty eight. Three thirty eight's not that much. I guess compared to two eighty, it is. So it looks like it looks like an average of around two seventy five, two eighty for these. I mean, obviously there's some cheaper ones, um, but then there's some more expensive ones here. So we'll we'll list Donald up for cheaper. Uh, cause like I said, I don't want to boost the series because of pack luck. Uh, it's not, I, I just don't want to do that. Um, you, you guys might say it's stupid cause you know, people could, could pack these if they did, did what I'm doing, but yeah, it is what it is. I think I'll, I think I'll do them for like 275, 280. Um, just, just to have kind of a middle ground for the 96s and, uh, that kind of hurts actually, but that's, that's pretty cool. So it's like if we would have got a decent 96, you know? Um, so let me go ahead and list them up for 275. You should sell pretty quick. Let's see. What would be, let's see after tax, what would get us to 250? Um, Twenty-seven thousand after tax. Be two fifty. So this will get us to 250,000 coins on Donald. He should sell immediately. Um. So that that's gonna be it though. That's gonna be the end of the episode there. Um, after he sells, we should have you know about three hundred thirty thousand coins. Uh, to moving into the next episode so after episode one we had 50k episode two we had 100k episode three we went to 150k uh once you get to about 150k that's when you can really start taking advantage of different methods i can't believe he hasn't sold yet <laughs> um what the heck are people doing so um we can start taking advantage of different methods i That's 5.7 coins for training. That's nuts, man. Somebody better buy that. Um, I'm excited moving forward with the series. Uh, like I said, I just I didn't want to boost the series because of a pack pull Donald. There we go. He sold. So we're at 50k, 100k, 150k. Now we're at 337k. Um, I'm just excited, man. We got coins to work with now. We can we can really start doing any methods pretty well open at this point. So. Looking forward to future episodes. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys got any questions on on the way I did anything, or or want to know more, uh, just just let me know in the comments below. Here's kind of a summary of of the whole episode. Let's see. Let's go. Oh wait, I gotta load up more, don't I? More. So this this will be easier for the people following along that want to add it all up at home. So here it, here it is. This was the start of the episode. Um, and yeah, my face cam's not blocking it, so you guys can actually see it. This is everything that we've paid for here. Start start back here. This is everything we paid for. That's what we sold. Went in more auctions. Auction, 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 auction. All, all the prices we've paid here. Uh, sold the other Jamal Adams for 116. And then all we had left to buy after that one was the, uh, we had a couple more of the, the 80 to 80 ones to finish the, the one last gingerbread man. And then we, we bought the 89, we had the 87 from the Jamal set, the 87 to 88 upgrade exchange, and, uh, and then sold the Aaron Donald. So there we are. If we would have sold the Donald for 330, I mean, we'd obviously be sitting at, you know, 50, 50K more, but uh, I'm good with that. Uh, can't repeat that method anyway anymore. So uh, 
if you guys enjoyed it, if you thought that was more fair, uh, more of a fair thing, let me know. If you think I'm an idiot, let me know. But uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to get this series out a little bit more often, especially now that we have more coins and the market's changing so fast. I kind of want you guys to see what what you guys can do with with a, this amount of coins is is pretty fun to use. So um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys and peace.